Hey everybody, I hope you all are doing well and welcome back to Whiskey Wanders. And today I wanted to do a wander that talks specifically just about one of my favorite whiskeys and one of my favorite whiskey producers and take a moment to look at their recent pretty massive price hikes. Because really wherever you are in the country and wherever you are in the world, if you are drinking any of the Japanese whiskeys from the Beam Centauri family, you will have had your hair blown back when you see exactly how much the new prices are even at Costco, even when they're potentially being sold at MSRP. So today we are going to do a wander where we look at the newest prices for the Yamazaki 12, the Hokushu 12, and the Hibiki family of Suntory Beam whiskeys, and look up how much they went up and if the increase is really justified or not. Now, before we get to this video, if you like these videos, if you like the wanders, if you like the hauls, if you like the reviews, the unbottlings, the unboxings, the drink throughs, and really all the amazing stuff we got cooking up for you, and we have lots and lots of stuff cooking up for you. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe because it does really help the channel grow, and we are so thankful for that. But also, you get notifications when our newest videos come out on Sundays and sometimes in between. All right, now let's get down to the video. So, for today's whiskey check, I think uh, it would only really be very apropos uh, to enjoy something uh, from the Centauri family. And I think today, what I'm going to enjoy is this Yamazaki. 12. <laughs> it's almost a little bit more than halfway done because it is delicious and because I got it at last year's prices, which is basically means I'm drinking at a discount or I guess the other way you could look at it is I'm drinking up all my equity. <laughs> Either way, Yamazaki 12. So let's see if we can get a pop. And of course there's no pop because it is a screw off. Come on, Santori. Get a glass. Get some juice. and to whiskey because honestly really you can never drink too much of it <laughs> you can only just drink it too fast cheers so first up today let's do one of the most ubiquitous and really the most easiest of the beam centauri family to find which is going to be this hibiki harmony the hibiki harmony is one of the most interesting whiskeys in the centauri family because i feel like it really takes a lot of liberties with how they produce it uh, they make all kinds of funky versions they used to have it in age statements and they have all kinds of interesting flair that goes along with it especially when it comes with bottle design additionally because it is a blended whiskey i think they also get a lot of leeway in how they produce it and what the distiller can really get out of it because it is actually a blend of whiskeys from the yamazaki distillery the hakusha distillery and the cheetah distillery uh, which sort of makes it really sort of like a <laughs> like a calico cat uh, from the Suntory family. This one specifically doesn't have an age statement on it, at least anymore. Um, and it's really most notable for its well-balanced and almost like zen-like approach to whiskey. I usually describe it as a whiskey version of those little like desktop zen gardens where you put the rocks in there and you kind of make designs in it. Um, it is also a true Japanese whiskey. In fact, all these ones we're going to talk about are true Japanese whiskey. And again, it is usually the easiest one to get, the most approachable, and the less expensive of the three that we're going to talk about today. Also, I would guess you would consider it sort of the entry level for Suntory or the Hibiki line, because uh, it is the least expensive. So this is usually where a lot of folks start, and I started my Japanese whiskey journey. Now, this Harmony specifically, we did find uh, last year at Costco uh, in May uh, for, I think it was $64.99. Then again, we also saw it uh, for $74.99 uh, both times in California. And now, as of June, we can see the price has been raised all the way up to $79.99. This means that over the span of about a year, the price increased for the Harmony by uh, $10, or an increase of 15.39%, which seems like a pretty big increase. And in fact, it is a pretty big increase. And many of the companies uh, like Suntory and Beam uh, they're blaming, you know, inflation. But when we look at the measurement of inflation for alcohol in general, like we say, get it from the Consumer Price Index that measures things like this, we can actually see that from the months of April 2022 to May 2023, the price of alcoholic beverages only went up 0.5%. To get more specific alcoholic beverages that were consumed at home, uh, these went up 0.7%. And to put the finest possible point on it when they measure the price precisely of whiskey that is consumed at home it actually had a zero percent 
inflation increase. So if it is truly inflation causing these increases uh, once it's applied, I mean, let's be generous. We gave it a 0.7% increase on the Harmony from last year uh, from May's price at $64.99. It means that the increase is basically just going to be a 45 cent increase at 0.007. So 0.7%. 0.007. Now, to be fair to Costco and Suntory and really all the whiskey makers out there, the cost of things like labor, the cost of gas, the cost of transportation, Mizanara Woods, and really all the import stuff, that all really has gone up pretty dramatically. But is it justifying a 15.39% bump uh, over the last 12 months? I know uh, us consumers of whiskey, <laughs> we have not gotten a 15.39% bump in our incomes to match, so I I'll let you all be the judge on that. So the Hibiki, I mean, that is one side of this whole thing, especially of these price increases. But let's get to the biggest jumps out of the group, which we're going to talk about today, which is going to be for the Hakushu 12 and the Yamazaki 12. Now, when we look at where we got either the Yamazaki 12 or the Hakushu 12 uh, from last year at Costco, it was possible to get either of these bottles for, for $99.99, whether it is the Hakushu or the Yamazaki. Now, when we see the newest prices for both, we can see that the prices for the Yamazaki 12 and the Hakushu 12 both are now at $145.99 here in Southern California as of June 2023. When we put that into percentages, it means that as of last year, when you could have got them for the $99.99 price, it has jumped by $46 or a stupid amount of percentage at 46%. Like I said with Ibiki, maybe you could end up justifying a 15.39% increase uh, because of labor and transportation and wood barrels and things like that. But a 46% increase <laughs> it just doesn't seem justifiable. I mean, this is the point when we really start to see companies go beyond supply and demand issues, and it really starts coming down to corporate greed. Look, I'm not against profit. Profit is good. But when it gets to the point where they are literally gouging us, <laughs> it's just so hard to swallow. And really, eventually, it will come back to bite Beam Centauri in the rear end. Because the whiskey rush is not going to happen forever. And these whiskeys that may be good on the palate at this moment are really leaving a bad taste in people's mouths. And it is exactly what is going to put off a lot of those future consumers right now, future potential whiskey lovers who are not jumping in now because it's so expensive. In fact, they're probably moving to something like vodka or tequila, which is getting better in quality, which is getting better in complexity and is available, <laughs> actually available at reasonable prices, at least so I'm told. So I just wanted to do kind of a real quick, a shorter version of this video to talk about what seems to be like the ridiculous price hikes that we have seen this year. I think that overall it is unlikely that we will probably see another really big jump as high as this, at least at the MSRP levels. Sure, gray market, mom and pop liquor stores, they're going to get you for sure. <laughs> they're going to get you as much as possible. But for the big box stores who set those contracts years in advance, these prices are going to stay relatively stable for the foreseeable future, at least in my estimation. I think a precedent for this is that the Yamazaki and the Akushu, they had been at $99.99 uh, for a couple years at this point already. And as the bourbon glow begins to cool a bit, especially if the economy begins to turn to the con, I don't think there's going to be much justification to keep raising the price as much. And of course, if it does all go downhill, we might all be back to drinking black velvet from the plastic jug anyways. <laughs> All right, so that's it for today's Whiskey Wanders, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And it's something a little bit different. I don't know how many of these we're gonna do. Hopefully I don't have to do a lot of them because I don't wanna see huge big prices increases. But I really wanted to point this out, and it's just kind of been irking me since we've started to see uh, these big increases as we are wandering around. So if you like these videos, if you like the Wanders, if you like the hauls, if you like the reviews, the unbottlings, the unboxings, the drink throughs, and really all the amazing stuff we got cooking up for you, and we have tons of amazing stuff cooking up for you, don't forget to like and subscribe because it does really help the channel grow. And again, we are so, so thankful for that. But I like to think it is good for your whiskey mojo. Uh, it pleases the whiskey gods and you get notifications when our newest videos come out on Sundays and sometimes in between. Now, just remember, if you do find a whiskey that you love, even if it is a little overpriced, <laughs> just buy it. Because if you don't, somebody else surely will. And in this case, it might even be me. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your week. I'm out, and adios.